Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Jamie if you're new. Today's video is going to be a flip through of the Space Science Unit from The Good and the Beautiful. This is the newly revised version of this unit and it is absolutely gorgeous. This also does have two separate reading books that you can purchase separately that will correspond with the unit that I'll go into detail on for you as well. If you have any questions about this unit or about The Good and the Beautiful, in general, please feel free to comment down below. Today's video is sponsored by The Good and the Beautiful. I'm always so thankful to be able to partner with such an amazing company. Let's go ahead and jump on into the flip through. So as you guys can see, I have not even put this in my binder yet. I figured it would be nice to show you guys what it looks like when it comes packaged from the good and the beautiful directly. The pages, the colors, the pictures, I mean, it is absolutely stunning. So as you can see, it comes very nice and clean, um, perfectly cut. So this is going to be your title page. As you open up, you'll see that there is a table of contents just like all of the units have. It starts with unit information, goes over the read aloud book packs, it talks about the grade seven through eight lesson extensions, any supplies needed, your vocabulary, planet labels and cards, and then breaks it down into the 15 lessons that you have. So in the beginning of each of the science units from The Good and the Beautiful, you will see that they have a unit information page. Each of The Good and the Beautiful science units do recommend that you have a science journal for your children. This is going to be a really good way of helping your children to see the tasks that they have finished, as well as just keep track of all the things that they've learned and specific things that they might need to be able to access as they go through the actual unit itself. So all the information on how to do that is gonna be right here for you. The Good and the Beautiful also recommend you creating a science wall. This sounds a lot more daunting than really what it is. It's very easy to put together a science wall. You're basically gonna use a three-fold presentation board and you're going to put the vocabulary words that you learn throughout this lesson that are attached inside of this unit for you. You'll cut those out and put those on your science wall. Next will be lesson preparation. Each of the science units are going to have a lesson preparation part in the beginning of each of the lessons. So that's just going to give you any preparation that you need to do before you start the lesson itself. Some of the lessons are also going to include mini books. And so as we go through a flip through of this actual unit, I will show you guys what the mini books will look like and explain to you how exactly you're going to put them together. Together. There are video recordings for this space science section and they are at thegoodandthebeautiful.com slash science videos. This is just a reminder that many of the Good and the Beautiful science lessons do have hands-on activities as well as experiments, so make sure that you always have an adult to closely supervise your children as they're going through the experiments. There are things for older children and younger children inside of the lessons, so you can use your discretion as a parent to decide maybe content that you want to skip if you feel like it's too old for your children or content that you might want to um, maybe learn some more about if you feel like it'd be better for your older children. There are lesson extensions for grades seven through eight that we will go over as well that will focus on uh, maybe some more content for your older children. And so I will show you guys that as we get to that. The Good and the Beautiful's science does take a general Christian worldview that supports creationism. It's not going to go into too many details about maybe how long it took God to make the earth or a young theory or an old theory, that can be up to your own discretion, but it is going to always be reiterating that God is the creator of all things and that he created the world itself. So the read aloud books for this unit are going to be Mars, Exploration 1960 through 2016, and the story of Mae Jemison. So I have both of the books right here that I can go through with you guys and give you just a brief overview of the books themselves. As you can see, there is beautiful photos and pictures in here, illustrations that are gonna go over Mars. You're gonna find facts about Mars, photography, illustrations,
book in this book pack is the story of Mae Jemison. So as you can see, we'll go through it and it's going to give you kind of a biography of her life. And I love books like this because it's not only giving them like a story, an inspirational story about someone, this one being an African American girl, which I feel like is super exciting. It's also gonna be something that's pertaining to the actual unit itself. And so this itself is a really cool story. You get to learn about her and her desire and her interest in science and in the world. And then it talks about her interest in space. If there are any correlated books that The Good and the Beautiful recommends for this science unit, they'll be located at thegoodandthebeautiful.com slash science. You can go ahead and click at the Space Science Unit product page and those will be listed there. And then it also goes over maybe some field trip ideas that would be fun for your family while going through this unit. The Good and the Beautiful has grades seven through eight lesson extensions in this unit itself. This is gonna basically go over how the extensions work. There is an answer key to the those extensions located on the Good and the Beautiful's website in their science area in the Space Science Unit link. One of my favorite parts about the science units from The Good and the Beautiful is this page right here. It looks so boring, you guys, but this page is a lifesaver. This is a supplies needed section. This breaks down each of the lessons into the supplies that you need for each of them throughout this unit. So a good way to handle this would be in the very beginning before you've even started your lesson, go through the supplies needed page and decide what you need to purchase if you need to purchase anything for the unit. A lot of this stuff is stuff that you're already gonna have in your house and if you don't have it in your house, it's gonna be really easy to come by going to your local dollar store, grocery store, even Amazon. So you're gonna wanna just gather all of the supplies up that you need, put it in a big bin, and then you can pull it out as you need to as you go through each of the lessons. This is the vocabulary section. These are going to be cut out and you can put them on your science wall as you go through them. And as you can see, they're all in the exact same format. So they're very easy for you to cut out and post on your science wall as you go through the unit. And of course the lessons will tell you when you need to do that as well. So this first lesson is the introduction to space. This is gonna give you the objective, which is to help children feel the wonder of the universe and understand the basic terminology of space science. Any preparation that you have, supplies, 
Milky Way bar. Do you guys see that? All right, this is gonna be a great lesson. I just know it because it includes chocolate. <laughs> this is gonna give you your opening activity. What better way to start off a unit than to be getting into scripture first and foremost and acknowledging who is the creator of all of this amazing stuff happening in the universe, the creator of space, of our world that we live in, and everything outside of it. One of my favorite parts about the Good and the Beautiful's science units are the photos that they have in them. They're so beautiful. Look at that photo of a rose. You'll see this is the lesson one, grade seven through eight extension, and it's focusing on telescopes. Lesson two is focusing on stars. The objective is to help children understand the facts about stars and their life cycles. So you'll see the preparation. You're going to watch the video telescopes at thegoodandthebeautiful.com slash science videos. That'll be located in the space science unit area on the website. I was lost in a city dream and I was at home again beside the stream Then you walked past me And you saw me and smiled I will never forget the first time When I saw you I thought I lost my mind Blue and faded was blown away and left behind I hope you'll always be around Even if I fail You are like a summer breeze That I must inhale Is it possible for us never felt more right Woke up lonely and for you There is nothing in this world I wouldn't do I would walk a thousand miles first mini book in this unit is the sun as you can see there is a dotted line through the middle of this page and that is going to be your guide on where to cut so you will cut this mini book out you'll just cut along the dotted lines for each of these pages and put it together it's as easy as that what I tend to do is cut the pages in half and then I will um, just take maybe a glue stick and glue the corresponding pages together and then run it through my laminator so that they're extra durable for my toddlers to look at too and then just use a ring in the corner of it to keep it together.
So lesson seven looks really cool. It's gonna focus on the phases of the moon. So the kids are going to gain a general overview and appreciation for the Earth's moon and its phases. I don't know about you guys, but my kids are always so curious about the moon, about what it looks like every night, where it's located at. They always say that the moon and the sun follow us while we're driving. <laughs> so I'm really excited for this part of the unit. I think that it's gonna be really interesting. I'm definitely gonna learn a lot in it as well. That's part of the amazing <laughs> benefits of homeschooling is that you get to learn right along your, with your kids and the good and the beautiful makes that possible. Takes the pressure off of having to know everything yourself and you get to just learn with your children and feel confident in the curriculum you're using knowing that it is accurate information it's biblically solid information and it's all good and beautiful we got time on our side we're in a state of hope Lesson 10 is going to focus on Jupiter and Saturn. It's going to give the children an overview of the Jovian planets and an opportunity to explore Jupiter and Saturn. Fun fact, while I was growing up, I had a little orange kitty and we named him Jupiter. <laughs> so every time I think of the name Jupiter, that's what I think of is my little kitty cat. Lesson 12 gets into the history of astronomy. So there is a bingo activity that's optional in this lesson. But here's going to be some history for you. Looks like here is the bingo card. How fun! and a timeline, the history of astronomy. We've got another mini book, Once Upon a Starry Night, the story of astronomy.
Lesson 13 is going to focus on the life of Galileo, his impact on the field of astronomy. I'm so excited about this unit. All of the amazing things that it covers in it. The good and the beautiful truly do make learning everything just so much more exciting and beautiful. It's not just like your typical textbook full of words and a couple pictures. I mean, there is so much thought and effort and beauty put into these lessons. guys so that is the space science unit from the good and the beautiful I hope that you guys enjoyed this flip through it was such a joy to be able to go through the curriculum with you guys and be able to really give it a good look dive in and share with you guys all of the amazing stuff that's inside of this unit as always all of the links to what I've talked about in this video will be down in the description box Comment down below if you have any questions. Thanks to The Good and the Beautiful for partnering with me on today's video, and I will see you guys in the next one.